I'm in the new project creation screen of Trace 3D+. At this point, I'm going to go into select a theme. You can see that we have various building themes and what these themes contain is a grouping of templates. So looking at the lodging, small hotel, I have meeting or conference room, dining, guest room, typical things that you would expect from a hotel or any lodging. For this example, I'm going to select the low rise office and you can see that we have some standard office spaces. If you would want to add or remove any of these room types or make adjustments to your construction or zone, which are going to be the zone set points and drift points, then you can go to create project and edit templates. I'm going to create the project. Even selecting this option, you could make changes to any of these templates as you continue to work within this project. After the file gets loaded, we can go into the building and site section. The first thing you'll see here is the weather. If you'd wanna make any adjustments to your weather or your location, you can do so here. See in the left, we have a lot of preloaded um, domestic and international locations. What we're going to do right now is go into the building section. See that there's three options to create a building. So that would be import GBXML, draw a building, or create a building using the building wizard. The building wizard gives you the option of five pre-configured building types. Um, you can see that each is made up of different rectangles and each rectangle has five rooms or zones within there. So the plus shape building, that's going to give you 25 rooms or zones, whereas the block building would just give you those five simple rooms or zones. In this example, I'm going to select the T-shaped building. So we have a north, I'm gonna name this wing, north and south wing. You could also modify the number of levels. So maybe I wanna do three levels in this office building, adjust the length and width, so I'm going to make this modification um, in the length. You can see down here, um, these images will not change, but you will see this change be made within our drawing canvas. Um, you can also change this perimeter depth. Note that right now it's only 10 feet. So that means your perimeter spaces this is only going to be 10 feet deep. So I'm going to wanna to make that something that is reasonable. Because of the difference of the length and width in this building, I'm gonna set the perimeter depth to be about 25%. Um, so I'm gonna have this be 75 feet and perimeter depth here, I'll set at about 35 feet. Then we can add any glazing. Um, if you'd want to add a drop ceiling, you would set your ceiling elevation, raised floor. Um, I'm going to put glazing, I'm going to do 40% on this. And then I'm also going to go to my south, apply 40%, except for my um, southmost facing wall. And then that would be 75%. I can now create this building and I'm going to see a three level T-shaped building. You're going to be able to make any modifications to this building um, so you can add or change. Um, see this building in 3D so you would see the glass already on there. If you'd want to make any changes, um, notice there are, there is not an option to add a door. You would be able to go in to create building um, construction and you know, add any other objects in here. Maybe you want to add doors 
um, change the windows, add in a more complex roof, you are welcome to do that. The intent of this tool is to just get a quick building for load or energy analysis so you can spend your time focusing on your systems or your plants rather than drawing a building. Once you get your systems and plants created and applied, you can come back um, and you can make any modifications to your building or create a different alternative where you would make those changes.